I'll see you guys tomorrow for Mitchell Falls. You get picked up from camp, you do the tour in the chopper and then they drop you at the waterfall. The beach is seriously so beautiful. So yeah, I'm at Honeymoon Bay Campground. The campground's just behind me over there. So I was flying the drone over the mangroves to try and see if I could see some crocs, but yeah, didn't have any luck. Welcome back to another video. So still on the Gibb River Road. And yeah, I've actually just made the turn off to go north. So I'm heading to Mitchell Falls today. I've still got a fair few hundred k's to actually get there. But since the last video, the road has been pretty good. There's been a few more river crossings, but nothing too deep. And yeah, I've just been into Drysdale Roadhouse because you can book helicopter rides. So you can walk out to Mitchell Falls, but apparently it's just so much better if you get a chopper. So just book that for bright and early tomorrow morning. So yeah, we'll jump back in the car and we'll start making our way down there now. Allow a fair few hours to get to the top with all the corrugation, it does take a little bit longer than normal. This is all a station country and Drysdale Station actually goes for 1 million acres. And then a little bit further up, there's a working mine up here as well. Alright, so I've just pulled over because that sun is going down. I'm still about 20 odd k's from the campground, so I think it'll be dark by the time I get there. But I did just really want to show you guys the drive up here just in case you wanted to do it. It's not too bad. There's only a couple big river crossings and yeah, there's random big bumps in it. But yeah, if you just sort of follow the track and watch the road, you're pretty sweet. So yeah, I'll get to the campground set up and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for Mitchell Falls. All right, so camp is all packed up and the plan for this morning is first off trying to figure out how I actually go and pay and figure out this helicopter ride because yeah, I booked it back at that roadhouse yesterday. So I'll do that. My flight's at 8.45 a.m. and it's around 8 a.m. at the moment. And yeah, there's two different choices that you can do. So you can either walk out to the waterfall and then you'll do the chopper tour and they'll drop you back here at camp. But the hike's four and a half k's and I don't know the terrain. I don't know how long it was going to take me. So I thought that I would do option number two, which is you get picked up from camp, you do the tour in the chopper and then they drop you at the waterfall. And yeah, then you can relax there and just wander back at your own time. So I thought that would be the better option. So yeah, I'll go for a bit of a wander now and figure it all out. <laughs> All right, so I just got off the chopper. So it's 180 and then they do a few loops around so you can actually see it a couple times as well. And then now I'm walking over to see what it looks like from the end of the hike.
You're not allowed to swim at Mitchell Falls itself in this area. You can swim a little bit further up in the Mitchell River, but those two top sections are very sacred to the Aboriginals. And if you choose to swim in that bottom section, you're probably going to get taken by a saltwater crocodile. <laughs> So I have just been relaxing in the shade. It's seriously such a beautiful day today. We are probably start doing the hike. So four and a half K and then that'll take me back to camp. made it back from the walk so it took about an hour or so and now what I think I'll do is I'll have something to eat and then I'm actually going to drive out this road and then go north a little bit more because I'm only about 50 k's away from a beach and that whole area is Honeymoon Bay and yeah I just figured while I'm already like this far up north in the Kimberleys quite remote I may as well go and see what the beach is like I'm pretty sure it'll be like riddled with crocodiles but I think it'll be really cool to go and see anyway so I'll go out camp out there tonight and then and yeah, I'll start the drive back down to do the rest of the gear. But yeah, while I'm already up here, let's go check it out. Pretty sure I said that it's 50 k's up to the top. Well, I just checked Hema Maps and I am completely wrong. It's actually 400 k's return, so 200 k's to get to the beach. But yeah, I think we'll do it anyway. I'm at the turn off now and yeah, we'll start making our way further up north. The day keeps getting away from me. I'm losing daylight every single time. But I ended up pulling up here sort of late last night. It was dark, probably at about 6.30, and the drive up was a little bit sketchy. It did take a while, <laughs> but yeah, got here eventually. And yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. I'm so glad I come up here because the beach is seriously so beautiful. So yeah, I'm at Honeymoon Bay Campground. The campground's just behind me over there. And yeah, then the beach is just to my right. So it's such a good spot. I'll get the drone up and yeah, we'll see what it looks like from up top.
So I woke up pretty early this morning at like 5.30 to a lady like screaming back at the campground, oh my gosh, there's a croc on the beach. <laughs> so there is crocs here, but uh, there's mangroves just ahead. So I won't go as far as that, but it'd be cool to get a shot of a croc. I really want to get one, like a drone shot or like a close up camera shot. I've seen heaps of crocodiles, but I've never actually got like a good photo of one. And the same with sharks as well. I've never got like a drone video or anything of a shark. So they're the next two animals on our animal list because we've seen heaps the last few videos. I also saw a snake yesterday too. I haven't got that on video either. But the dust that just come up after me as soon as I saw it, I was like, nah, I'm going too quick. But yeah, I'll probably just sit on the beach and soak in some sun because yeah, it is seriously stunning here. I reckon if you had a boat and a fishing rod, you could probably stay around this area for a couple of weeks. I was thinking last night, so at all sort of campgrounds, there's a camp host. And when you arrive, you find them, you pay your fees, and then you get to just choose a spot. And most of the time they're all volunteer. And I have pulled up to a couple of spots where I thought, oh, I would not want to be a camp host here for like extended amounts of time. But this one would be pretty good because this beach is seriously beautiful and it is actually so relaxing just sitting here. But yeah, there is no service in this area at all. And I have haven't had service for a few days so mum's probably freaking out <laughs> so I'll probably just stay here tonight and then I'll go back down to Drysdale station and then make my way back across the give that way <laughs> So I thought that I would give you guys a bit of a car update. So far, the Lux is still going strong. I actually ended up putting the tires down a little bit more. So they were sitting on 30 and from memory, I put the front two to 20 and then the back two to 25. And now it just glides over the corrugation a little bit better because those last few drives, the corrugation did get a lot worse. And yeah, I pulled past so many people that are having car problems because it's just so much rattle to the car for like such a long way. And yeah, there's big divots in the road and yeah, it's not like, super bad but you do have to really be careful how you're driving it that's for sure before i left i actually got the bushes i was going to say shocks bushes replaced at the top of my suspension because my suspension was squeaking a little bit so i just wanted to get all that sorted before i left and yeah now i just keep checking i'm doing walk arounds in my car all the time to make sure everything is all good because i am really quite remote but yeah i haven't even had like a hole in a tire or a puncture or had to replace it or anything yet either so so far so good So I was flying the drone over the mangroves to try and see if I could see some crocs, but yeah, didn't have any luck, but that's all right. Maybe one time soon. But yeah, I am going to wrap up the video here. The sun is almost on its way down and I'm going to get up nice and early tomorrow and actually start driving back down south. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.